here's one... Why'd my sound just go away? But here's one speed attempt, and it's peaking out at... the moment... 615, perhaps? Meters a second. Oh boy. In the upper atmosphere here, about this altitude, it's kind of hard to control. But, come on, 630. We're dropping altitude again. Still have too much fuel on board to get too much speed up. But still we're doing 640. I don't know why my sound just went away. But this has been happening for a while. But I'll now record the next attempt as well. Well actually there'll be several there'll be a pattern a series of attempts before it reaches its maximum speed as its fuel starts to run low. See a little bit. We're at the very limits of what the engine can pull the engines can currently do right now. You can also see the curvature of Kerbin right now. We're only 17 kilometers up, but we're starting to come back down again. Because the engines can't keep this up. speed climb now as we get back into where the engines perform and function. Here's 700. Seven thirteen. And then we're gonna be climbing again soon, just because well the way the curb how much smaller curb it is means that the plane is constantly falling underneath us, even as we're in the atmosphere. Which causes problems, and... Okay, the microphone is on. That would have sucked. <clears throat> as we start to climb again, as we get in the efficiency range of, this en of these engines, our speed will start to increase again. Notice we're climbing. And I've got this thing on autopilot for level flight. You can see how we're now climbing and how quickly the planet falls underneath the aircraft. And we're at the limits of the engine again. Airflow is decreasing. kilometers up, 18,000 meters. Now we're going to start de losing altitude again. It's just bouncing up and down in the upper atmosphere. And we start to speed up again. And see the engines start to heat up from having air fuel, air flow again. <coughs> Actually, I might even break my original speed of 742. Nope. Not at all. We dropped out of their efficiency range. So we need to climb. Come on, start climbing. Oh no, I've lost the engines, because for some reason these engines shut off. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to 742 like I had before. Actually, maybe not. 
because these engines keep shutting off. I don't know why they keep shutting off. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done at the moment. Because three of these engines have shut off. Let's try this again, just diving. Doubt it. Yeah, we're not going to make it. So that's the end of this test. If these engines wouldn't keep shutting off on me, this would be going a lot better. Whee! Oh. Well. Whee! And this will keep the crew safe. Well, there we go. That's the end of this video. I'll be trying again, I suppose. Well, pretty much the end of it. Whee! So I need to fix that fuel issue. I've got a Star Trek movie running in the background. If you hear noise, it's not the video game. <laughs> and it still explodes. But it landed safely. So I need to figure out why those three engines are failing. And flight, and flight, so far... Highest speed over land achieved was 122 meters a second. Highest altitude, 23,583 meters. Probably if I hadn't done that, I would have been able to get a higher speed. But, oh well, and we'll screenshot this, F10, there we go. Have fun.